So today I'm talking about a P0108 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0108 code? Well, it's a manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure high. And what does this mean? Well, there's different sensors that measure all the air going into the engine and the type of air that's going into the engine. There could be a mass airflow sensor, which is just measuring all the air going into the engine. And there can also be what's called a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which does different things. But basically, the air density at sea level is different than it is at higher elevations. And so the computer can use this manifold absolute pressure sensor to know the type of air that's going into the engine. And it can adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And this can be very critical to keep the engine running the best that it can. And one thing about these sensors is that there can be differences on what's going on, depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. Sometimes they could even be combined into one sensor or they could be all separate. It's really going to vary. So it's a good idea to get a diagram where all your sensors are located. It's just going to make things easier so that you know exactly where the sensors are at. And that way you know exactly what's going on. Because like I said, sometimes they could be separate. And then sometimes the sensors can be combined into one package. And so if you can, it's a good idea to get a diagram where all your sensors are located. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0108 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor might have just failed. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. It can also be inside the wiring going to the sensor because if there's any open, short, or something has a bad connection, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. It's a good idea to get a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on, but it's very common for these to be three wire sensors. And basically with these, you're going to have five volts going to it. You're going to have a ground wire, and then you're going to have a sensor wire going back to the onboard computer. And so you can do some basic tests on that wiring and be sure that's good. You could check for five volts. You could check the ground for continuity and be sure that's working. So if you have a multimeter, you can't check the wiring to be sure it's good. You can also test that sensor to be sure that it's good. You could do it with the multimeter. You could do it with the scan tool. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is that that map sensor has just failed or there's some kind of issue going on inside of the wiring. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of vacuum leak going on or intake air leak. And basically all the air should be going in to the throttle body. And if there's air going into the engine around the throttle body, then it can throw all these sensors off. And so this would be something along the lines of like a loose hose, a bad gasket, something like this. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of vacuum leak going on. Another thing that can cause issues sometimes is that if the throttle body is really super dirty, if you look down in there and that throttle body butterfly plate is super dirty, it's got a lot of buildup on it, then sometimes that can also cause issues. And it can also throw these sensors off in the way the computer is responding to it and different things like this. If your throttle body looks really super dirty, you can't get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner, which you could get at any automotive store and you can spray inside of there and you can clean it up. You can even use like a small toothbrush or something like this and just basically clean it up real good. Quite often doing that can help solve a lot of issues. One thing to mention is that if you do spray it with throttle body cleaner, when you first start up the engine, it might run badly for like 30 seconds or a minute or so until all that throttle body cleaner gets burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. But the next thing that can cause this is a dirty throttle body. And the next thing that could cause problems is that there's some kind of problem with the air going into the engine and the air going out of the engine. And so this would be like a clogged up intake like a dirty air filter or a clogged up exhaust like a bad catalytic converter or something like that usually if that happens you're going to get other codes so if you are getting other codes be sure to pay attention to that and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0108 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day